if this is a place I thought it was, it seems to me like I remember a dog somewhere. Oh shit, there is a dog! Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die. This is the insane Nightmare Speed tutorial slash Let's Play series. <coughs> Excuse me, mini series. And uh, so it just turned morning and overnight I gathered together everything that I currently have to make a mini bike and also a workbench. Uh, so we have everything except for, uh, we need six or no, we need 18 more polymers to make the wheels. Um, we need the, uh, engine and a battery and a headlight to finish making the mini bike. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out and wrench cars. We need to get the engine, the battery and the headlight. And once we get all that stuff, uh, and we're going to have to come up with some plastic somewhere too. Once we get all that stuff, then We'll be able to make the mini bike, and then I'm just going to go ahead and burn the wrench uh, because I think, you know, it's going to be more important for us to have the mini bike at this point than the wrench. And, you know, we will eventually, of course, come across another one. So that is the plan for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you find value in this episode, if you are entertained by these videos, if you learn from them, please, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and it does help the channel quite a bit. Also, if you're interested, we do have a membership program. Take a look at the Join button. There's three different tiers of membership, and uh, each offering different perks. And if that's something you might be interested in, I'd be glad to have you as a member on the channel. And finally, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to watch an old guy gaming. Let's get started here. Okay, so uh, we're going to just start taking cars apart. I've got a couple extra repair kits, which we might need, but we've got to get the engine the headlight, and the battery. There is a bow zombo over there. We might attract him. Uh, shit. That wolf is still around. Uh, we also need uh, gasoline, too, which, of course, we will get from wrenching the car. So let's just deal with this guy now, because otherwise he's going to be a hassle for us. Come here, boat. You did. Okay. There's the wolf. We could probably kill him with our bullet, our pistol, but I'd rather not do that. You know, we have plenty of meat. We just don't need to do that right now. Let's not do it unless we have to. Okay, we got a, a three-stage car here. Engine, battery, headlight. That's what we need. Well, there's our engine and our battery right there. Look at that, man. Oh, and it's a purple battery on top of that. Not that that matters for the mini bike, but wow. Okay, I'll take it. So now we just need a headlight and some more plastic, and then we're in business. There's our headlight. Okay, we got six more plastic from the car. Um, I'm wondering, though, maybe I should wrench a few more cars if for no other reason so we can just get enough gasoline, too. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's just go around and wrench several more cars. I mean, we're going to get good stuff from in regardless. We can try and hit this school bus here. There's cheerleader zombie there. Let's take her out. Make sure we have full stamina. Right in the noggin. She's very fast, as you can see. But not super tough. Okay. There is, I think... Oh, uh, nice. Nice. I think there's a working stiffs box in there, too. We'll check that out. 
This is going to take a little while. Got somebody else's attention. Another super fast runner. Keep her stun locked. Okay, we're out of stamina, so that means we pull that out. Okay, we got whacked a couple of times, so I think we're going to go ahead and take a pain pill since we have plenty of them. We have plenty of beverage to keep ourselves hydrated and counter the effect of it. And yeah, there we go. Okay, let's keep doing this. I wasn't expecting her. Okay, so we got that one. Let's hit this car next. I think we use the axe on tires. No, I want the tire. Okay, we got three plastic off of that. Uh, we don't need this shovel. Let's scrap that. Uh, don't really want to get rid of anything else at this point. Now, there's an actu actually a workbench in here. Any chance that it actually works? There might be a zombo in here, too. Yeah, there's a bow right there. <laughs> oh, shit! Well, we took him out, but... Uh, Okay. Wow. Stripper's fast, too. She's no joke. Okay, I think we're clear. Does this work? Oh, man. Come on, game. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'll take it. Okay. Thank you, game. <laughs> you were sane? <laughs> awesome. All right. that That's awesome. Because I really didn't want to give up my wrench. I mean, it's our only way to get gasoline at this point. Well, not our only way, but our main way. Ah, so we're good, man. We are in good shape. Okay. We just have to make sure we have enough plastic left. Oh, man, that was a great find. Absolutely great find. Phantasmagorical. Guess we could get gas out of these, right? Not usually very much, though. A little bit. Cool. Okay, there's a working stiffs up there. Let's go up here. I don't think there's a zombo up here, but if there is, we'll last him. Okay, can we get over to here? I'm just really heavy, so I don't I don't trust myself to be able to jump somewhere. There we go. And another hammer. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty decent stuff. Now we have an extra hammer, too, that we can start using for repairing. Okay. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Let's take that. Um, there is in the, the garage, there's another crate of some sort. I can't remember exactly what it is, but let's go find out. Uh, how much plastic do I have? 24, and we have 14 back in the base. We need a total of 32, so we uh, are good on plastic. Don't think there's a zombie. Oh, that's a passing gas. Great. Okay. Maybe we'll find a mini bike chassis in here. Or, yeah, or handlebars or whatever. Ooh, we've got one of our wheels. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, scrap this. What's the matter with us? We're thirsty. Okay, let's eat. And we're going to down a couple of these. Okay, let's go home and make our mini bike, you guys. Let's waddle home and go make our mini bike. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, we'll put the plastic 
one headlight in there, a battery. Let's put the blue battery. We'll save the purple one. I don't know why, but we will anyways. And the extra wheel. And I think that's everything we needed for making the mini bike. Now let's grab this stuff for the workbench. And one of the thing one of the things we want to do is we want to take our better wrench out of our inventory so it doesn't get consumed. These two hammers that we have uh are this one's the better hammer, so yeah, we'll keep this one. And now we should be able to make the workbench. That's a long time coming, wasn't it? While we're waiting for that, let's get some other stuff put away. All right. And we have a workbench. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, we're just going to put that right there. And I've got the wheel, the other wheel making up, so let's grab everything out of here. Whoops. And we want to make the mini bike chassis and the mini bike handlebars. When that's done, we've got our engine, we've got our battery, and we should be able to make the mini bike. So again, we just wait for a little bit longer. Okay. Both of the mini bike pieces are made, and now we just assemble the mini bike itself. One more minute and 12 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. And there she is. All right. Awesome, awesome. Let's take her out for a spin. Fill her up. Okay, we finally have our vehicle. Man, that was a long time coming, but we got her done. We got her done. Okay, so this is a huge game changer, guys, because as you can imagine, um, you know, we can pretty much just be out and about now and zombies are no longer a threat to us uh, unless we choose to engage them, right? Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's no different than any other type of playthrough, like if you were playing on normal difficulty, except for the fact that our survivability uh, increased like a hundredfold now that we have, you know, a vehicle uh, to get around in. So it's it's a very big, very big milestone to hit uh, when you're playing on Insane Nightmare Speed. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, we have a quest that we could go do. Um, so I think let's see. We've got all the storage that we have available to us now too. We got food, we got drink. Yeah, let's go. Let's go do this other quest. Why not? There's no reason not to. Let's do it. All right, we're here. This is going to be a clear quest. We could probably take this lamp apart for some steel. Um, I'm trying to think if I've done this place before. I probably have, but it doesn't look super familiar. I'm not sure where the end loot's going to be for double looting. Let's grab this wood, though. He got his fast attack off on us. Right, what kind of zombie are we dealing with here? It's Bo. We got this. We should probably repair this guy. Let's get our steam in the back a little bit. Come on, buddy. Get that door broken. Fall down, get our stamina back. And he did. Okay. All right, yeah, since I'm not really sure where the fat loots are, let's just do this legit. 
Uh, but this is a clear, right? So we got to kill everybody. Let's do it. So there's a light up there indicating that we need to jump up and go through the roof. You know, I am not 100% positive that I've actually whoop, <laughs> that I've actually done this before. All right, we need stamina if we're going to make a jump here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so guess we go up this way. Well, we need to be ready for vultures. Interesting. This is a sizable house for a tier one quest. Shit. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Spreading with a 44 gun drawn in combat uses 20% less stamina. Um, fittings mod, and we already know this, so we'll take it to sell. Search the desk. All right, we'll take all that stuff. Um, chances are we're going to find a Zeke in here, but let's find out for sure. Yep, there's a bow. Okay, so let's do... Hmm, this is going to be interesting. And I don't think we're going to be able to block him off. Uh, well, we can if we move, remove this. I mean, we're almost to the point where we don't need to worry about blocking him off anymore. Almost. Not quite yet, though. Okay, what we have to do is get rid of this. Hopefully he doesn't wake up. There we go. And I don't think he can jump up there. If he can, well, you know, then we take him out. Does he not know we're here? Kind of would appear that way. Yeah, we're definitely softening him up. He still doesn't know we're here. Got him. Okay. Yeah, I can't I can't honestly say that I've I've done this place before. I mean there's a lot of POIs in Seven Days to Die, so um, you know, it goes, it's not surprising that as much as I have played the game that I've missed one or two POIs here or there, or maybe I have done it and I just can't remember. I don't know. It doesn't look familiar to me. Okay. We could go that way, but I think, uh, the quest wants us to go down. So let's do that. Let's also, so we got four bandages. Um... Yeah, let's let's save the bandages for bleed outs and super bad emergencies. And we're just gonna keep drinking and, and eating for health for now. Probably gonna need to take two of those. So yeah, you, you kinda get to a point, you know, when you're playing on these settings that you transition from having to block doorways and stuff to being able to just take them on head to head. We're, we're sort of in the transition between those two. We're not really fully ready to just start taking them on like head to head, you know, but we will be there very quickly. What we really need more than anything is, you know, probably a shotgun uh, to do that. And once we get a solid shotgun or even a better pistol and a little more ammo, uh, then I think we could we can do it. Uh, but we just want to be cautious for a little bit longer here. Because, we, you know, the thing is, is we don't have any skills in guns or shotguns or anything like that. We've put all of our points 
to date into intellect so we could get to the mini bike. Uh, they'll sell for 40. Okay. So we just need to get, you know, our, our skills, our gun skills up a little bit more. Uh, get a little bit better quality stuff and then, you know, we'll be ready to start taking them on. Sure would like some pants. bit dark in here. Apologize for that. Oh, mushroom spores. Okay. Let's loot the food. Got some salmon. You guys uh, might be wondering too when I'm going to start the Ravenhurst series. Well, the answer is when we're done with this one. I want to finish this series up first uh, before we start Ravenhurst so I can focus completely on Ravenhurst. Let's eat that right now. Um, but, you know, we, we'll, we only have a few more episodes and before I think we're at the point where we can wrap this one up. Um, so it's not going to be too much longer. Couldn't tell you exactly when, but, you know, maybe in, within a week or so from now, if not even sooner than that. We'll see. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's just scrap these. Uh, we're going to scrap that. Yeah, because that doesn't really sell for a whole lot. These are probably barely worth hanging on for sale selling. Tough guy sunglasses gives us fortitude. Okay, so we've got a Ronnie McDonnie here. I don't mind taking him on head to head, but I don't. But we have another active zombie on the compass too, so we don't want to get two at the same time. Not quite ready for that yet. So let's put that there. He's going to be able to jump up. All right, so let's do this instead. We'll put two there. Oh, this is not working out, is it? Okay. I'm going to have to do it this way. It's those stupid moldings that's causing the problem. All right, I guess we're just going to have to take them out. It won't take that long. Do I need to take those out? Okay, we're good. Good to go there. Got a zombo over here. It's business guy. If he's the only one, though, we'll just do take him on head to head. The only one that's showing up. <laughs> Excuse me. Man, oh man. All right, let's do him. couple shots off on him. He did. Okay, so we might have some Zeeks in those closets up there. Nope, we're clear. Okay. Uh, let's grab the leather off of this couch. Green dye. 
Okay, we can pick these back up. They don't need to stay there. I might wrench that um, later, but let's not worry about it right at the moment. Some jars. Okay, let's... I don't care about the green thigh. Let's get rid of that. I think we'll keep everything else. Okay, so there's someone off to the right. I think we're okay over that direction. Right. There's a Zeke in here. I can't see him from here, though. It's Yo! Hey, Yo! Check the cupboards. Scrap these guys, save a spot, and let's go in. Some water. Interesting. Toilet pistol? No toilet pistol. Oh. There's a thing back here. Beaker. We have two beakers now. This does kind of look familiar. Maybe I have done this house. It's definitely not one I've done a lot. Is this the one that has the dog in it? This looks suspicious. This looks suspicious. Let's get some stuff out of here. I thought I, if this is a place I thought it was, it seems to me like I remember a dog somewhere. Oh shit, there is a dog! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, I just noticed the red dot on the cup as I turned around and he popped out. Oh, you son of a... Okay, yeah, I have been in this place before. <laughs> it's just been such a long time. I think the last time I was in here was about a year, over a year ago when I did my wasteland survival series where we did a whole playthrough in the wasteland um and i do remember now doing this place but i think that's the only time i've done it so that's why i wasn't real uh, familiar with it uh but it just you know something in my head was saying something about a dog up here and sure as hell that's what happened oh my goodness okay whoo freaking heart attack man and we finished the quest so we're good to go let's get the fat loots no, don't destroy that. Nice. Okay, and what do we got in here? Uh, a better blunderbuss. So we're going to actually 
have two blenders on our thing. We can put this on. That sounded bad, didn't it? Two blenders on our thing. Never mind. Uh, we're going to put that. And we're going to scrap that. This will put on our sledgehammer, which will help with stamina. And let's open up the shoddy Messiah. A shotgun would be absolutely fan freaking tastic right now. Wasn't meant to be, but that's okay. We got another blunder bus, so that gives us two shotgun ish shots. And we still have the pistol too. Yeah, I would have. It would not have gone well for us had we come up here without firearms. It would not have gone well. I'm not going to... We're not going to get far enough along in this playthrough to do farm plot, so I'm not going to keep the rotten meat. Ah, uh, let's see. We don't need 44 nitrate. And let's drink this now. That'll free up a slot. These we can't sell because there's not enough of them, so let's scrap them down. We don't have a crossbow at the moment anyway. Okay, that frees up a couple slots. And I think... We're good to go. A beef and a chicken ration. Let's let's eat the chicken ration too. Again, just to free up a slot. Because I don't have any more um uh whatchamacallits. Uh and a, no no. What am I trying to say? Steroids. Goodness gracious. I don't think we need this anymore. We're done with the spare. Let's scrap it. And that gives us another slot. Okay, that should be good enough to move. And let's go turn this quest in. Hey, hey, well, I guess you ain't so bad. Okay, but never encumbered at night or improved fittings mod. Yeah, let's take never encumbered at night. Next job. We can now do a buried supply. <laughs> of course, he doesn't have one now. <laughs> okay, um. But this is give you a chance to prove yourself. This is the same one I think we just did. But you know what? What the hell? I'll do it again. I might do that one off camera though, if it is the same one. Okay, let's learn that. And we wanted to sell a couple things to him. Uh, so let's sell the shoes. And I, I guess that's all. I guess that's all we actually wanted to sell to him. Oh, this too. I got a couple things back at the base to sell to him too. A couple schematics that we've already read. Uh, that's all you're going to buy. I'll let you show okay, let's out. get out of here and go get... Is there any health bars in here? There is. Nice. Okay, so we're going to take that. I'm going to grab all of this stuff, too. Um, well, What the hell? Let's take the yucca juice. Why not? We've earned it. Go home, down a honey. Get the infection taken care of. Get the hell out of here. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, this was a good episode. We got the mini bike made, went out and did some questing, and I think we're doing really good. So let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think about how much longer we should go with this. Now, remember, this is not intended to be a normal playthrough, so uh, I only want you to tell me to keep going if you want to see more of you know how to actually play on insane and so forth but see we're like i said we're really at the point uh you know uh, the point where you know things are, are starting to become manageable for us now um so if i continue this series you know we just need to get some skills up now we need to get a little bit better equipment you know and, and once that's done you know then pretty much it's I wouldn't say it's smooth sailing, but it's it's definitely manageable from there on out. Um, so if you would like me to wrap this series up and get going on Ravenhurst, um, let me know in the comments. And, you know, if I get enough people that say wrap it up and do Ravenhurst, then that's what we'll do. If I don't hear from you at all, or if I hear some of you saying keep going on this series for a little bit longer, then we'll keep going on this series for a little bit longer. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.